It is raining again in Sandy Shores. Gotta love it. We're in the middle of the desert and there's more rain than anywhere else on Earth. Uh, currently in selfie cam mode. Uh, get out of that. That was just to have a uh, thumbnail for the intro. There is a highway patrol over there. Not quite sure what he's doing, so I'm going to go have a check up on him. Uh, before that, I was running radar. Uh, what is that truck doing? Um... Hmm. I mean, it's worth going to have a look at. What is he doing? Um. Huh. I'm going to go have a word of him. Because this is private property. I love the way you can hear the rain pick up when you get out of the car. That's great. Morning, Jeffrey. Good evening, sir. I was just uh, curious as to what you're doing over here. Oh, I got a call. They saw a big old python wandering around in the back here. I was going to try and pick. I'm okay. staying just to where I run. I run wildlife relocations. Okay, that makes sense. I was just wondering what he was doing, because this is uh, technically private property, so we're not meant to let people on here. But if you have a um, good reason to, and I'm assuming you have some kind of invoice or something to prove that, then there should be no issue. Well, I can show you the text on my phone here. They just set me up and said, come on over and get it. That would be perfect. <laughs> All right, here you go. Okay, that all appears fine. As I said, I was just curious as to what you were doing over here. It just seemed odd. Oh, no, I understand. I just started up a few, you know, a couple weeks ago. In fact, I just got out of the hospital. I bumped the gas pump over at Harmony and my truck blew up. Oh, wow. Okay, that doesn't sound good. Anyway, so you've, yeah, um, kind of... you've proven what you're doing over here. There's no need to uh, ask you any more questions. You've... As, you, as I said, you've proven why you're over here. That's all I wanted to know, to be honest. So, I'll leave you be. You have a lovely day. Yep, you, and just so you can let the guys know if you see me around, if, especially if it's somewhere that usually you don't see picking something up. So, But feel free to come and ask. I'm always happy to apply. Okay, I will do. All right, have a nice day, sir. You too. Stay safe. I like that dude, Scott. He's um, he's a pretty awesome dude. He's pretty chilled. I like it. He's also got the voice of God. Right, I turn my uh, lights off. Ah, oh, J turn in the rain. That is cool as fuck. Uh, that is. Sam, you at uh, Sandy Shores. You uh, ten four. Uh, ten four. <laughs> ten four. This dude we pulled over not long ago for drink driving, and we told him not to go get his car. Mr. Berg, we meet again. His name was Michael Berg, he was pulled over for drink driving. No, uh, well, no, he was pulled over and then he was drunk. Uh, just wanted to make sure you're not still drunk. Oh, no, uh, no, I can, uh, I can show you. I'm still, uh, I'm still okay, yes. Sorry, say that again. I, I can walk in a straight line. I went to the uh, doctor and my blood pressure was uh, was too high. And they gave me a medication. Okay, I just wanted to make sure you're not still drunk. But you seem fine. I can't smell any uh, alcohol on you anymore. So I just assume that you're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. And he told me not to drink anymore for a while because uh, the medication I take uh, is not really uh, go well with uh, with uh, you know with the alcohol. You know. Yeah, that would explain a lot. Okay. Well, I have no reason to perform a DUI on you, so I'll just uh, let you go. You seem to be fine. I have it. Yeah, I was just filling up some gas, and uh, then I'm gonna move back to my uh, motel real quick. Okay, have a nice day then, Mr. Berg. Yeah, you too, officer. Yeah, he finally got the snake that's down the air shot. 12-foot python. 
And that is why I'm glad I don't live in, in Florida. Because, yep, yeah, fuck that. I'm not going to say I'd rather live in Australia, because that would be blatantly untrue. I don't fancy 12-inch spiders either, but, you know. Pythons ain't much lower on the list, and trust me on that. Right, I was going to go check what this highway was doing. It just seems odd the way he was parked there, so I'll just go check he's okay. He probably is. Be a responsible driver and uh, stop for the AI. Uh, Sam two five two. Is there any reason there's a highway slumped over a steering wheel on Smoke Tree? Ten nine. There's a trooper in his vehicle slumped over the steering wheel. Um, there is a trooper in his vehicle on smoke tree slumped over a steering wheel. No clue. What's the postal on that? Uh, it's going to be between 1020951. One. Can you hear me, officer? Cooper, same difference. Ten for I'll go take a trip up that way to the top. Ten for Trooper, can you hear me? Ooh, don't think I can open the door. Yes, I can. Huh? That is unusual. Also, I worked something else to eight. <laughs> All those tweets I've sent in my previous videos, none of them went through. Because I was told to tweet, you do slash tweet. Nope, it's slash TWT, so it just would not show up for anyone else. Um, Can you hear me? I don't know what to do. Um, If he's not responding, I can't check the badge number. I'm going to turn my lights on so the other units can find me easier. I've never seen anything like this. All I can assume is that he 10 zeroed. Um, I pr probably should call. I need a 1071 to my location. Officer's not responding. Possible 10 zero. I don't know what to do. Um, uh, uh, what do you do? Inspect officer for wounds? Maybe. There's a sheriff there, but I don't know where he's going. Yeah, nine five one and one zero two zero. Can you repeat that postal on that uh, possible ten zero? It's going to be between nine five one and one zero two zero on Smoke Tree Road, just off Panorama, in the Grand Sonora Desert. Ten four. Ten fifty one. Ten four. Hey, one seven six. Well, what you got? He's just slumped over his steering wheel, uh, completely unresponsive in every single form. Uh, I'm assuming. Go on. I'm pretty sure it's a ten zero because I don't see no officer in that car at all. Uh, my ride along. Do you see anybody in the in the driver's side steering wheel too or no? I don't. I don't have no officer. Oh, there you go. He's oh. under the car in mine now. Uh, he's, sat he's sat in the seat for me. He's sat in the seat for me. No, Echo. he's on the ground. Well, if he's on the ground, it's a possibility he was shot. I did um, check for wounds, but nothing. I can't see anything. You don't see nothing, okay. Um, 
This is a ride along. Looks like, no, wait, no, wait. It honestly looks like uh, 124, but I use 107. It's a uh, uh, supervisor, whoever it is. Oh, that'd be that'd be 124 Dave. Yeah, he's uh, yeah he's gone 10-6. Um, yeah. Okay, I think we should get the um, car recovered then. Yep, call in a call in a tow, and then I'm pretty sure this is probably a 10-0 case. 10-4. 252, can I have a 1070 to my location? Cancel 1071. But yeah, that dude in the jacket, that is a probationary deputy. How much would you have 10-0? 10-4. Yeah, yeah, this is, um, this is 124 DB. Um, yeah, he was 10 0 because he left for dinner, so I already know that. Okay. Cool. Well, as long as that's all that's going on. Yeah, it looked kind of suspicious there at first. You know, when I seen it, you know, to me, he was kind of, you know, under the ground, under the car, and I'm like, is it a shooting? For but me, then, he was uh, slumped yeah. over the steering wheel, as if he'd just been shot or something. Oh. Holy Lord. Keep going. <laughs> These AI are terrible today. Anyways, yeah, nope, so yep. it's a 10-0, so uh, we can clear this and go about our, go about our way. Um, yeah, so this gentleman right here, this is uh, this is David, he's, um, he's just my ride-along passenger sit for for right now for today. So if you see him with me, that's that's by design. Yeah, I'm going to be that doing my assessment later. Well, good luck oh, for oh, that, Dave. Okay. Yeah. Alrighty. Thank you. Yeah, Alright, stay safe, have a nice day. Alright, we are 252 is 10-8. I think we can turn our lights off now. Just casually leave the body on the floor. <laughs> right, I am go I can turn my lights off now. I am gonna go and run some radar. Um I mean around here seems pretty popular today. God damn it, AI. But I'm going to go somewhere I don't usually go. I'm going to go some bushwhacking. Achievement unlocked. Bushwhacking. We're going to go on uh, 68. But not too far. It's literally just around the corner here. That is a lovely sunset. God damn. And if you um, pull over by here, you can go full bushwhacking it. Right along by here. No one will see you from that side. And from this side. Oh no, there's a bush in the way. Ha! Inside view. See, I got this all figured out. Right, I'm going to sit here and get bored for about an hour and wait for something to happen. I just turned my audio off, that's good. Hmm. 59. It's good enough for me. <laughs> it's probably going to be another local, but, you know, it's always nice to have my hopes up. 59. That's slightly higher than most locals drive. But... Nonetheless, still a local. Uh, I had a really good spot then. That's annoying. I quite like that uh, radar spot down by there. Uh, some of you guys probably haven't noticed, but I think it's actually really cool. Pay attention to the numbers on the cars. Like that one, for example. Anyone know whose number that is? That 127 is Jeff. And then on the number plate you have 127 once again and 228 which is Rob and Rob is one of our I think he's a head of department I don't know I don't pay attention to that stuff but nonetheless pretty cool I, I like the fact that they put that in just for aesthetics uh, another one we have is 117 I believe we have a 181 a lot of the uh, high ups in the department guys you've heard of like um, like Jeff for example Bugs um, Siv Ryan I'm not actually sure I don't think he has a unit number not certain on that but yeah a lot of their numbers do appear on the actual vehicles I think that's a really cool detail like attention to detail 127 128 San Andreas exempt and then there's an American flag on the front because why not America Charles 124 is back 10 8 Same 
Are you looking to get your charge back, or are you okay with me just burning around? Uh, if it's delayed, that's uh, that's cool. I think I uh, died of thirst or something. Yeah, we. Um, <laughs> yeah, we had a, uh, a ten zero at your location. Over. Ten four. Yeah, if you got rid of the uh, cruiser, that's fine. Yeah, ten four. The cruiser was uh, towed. Two five two one two four direct. Go ahead. Do you need a lift to the um, station or anything? Uh, negative. I um, I uh, had to respawn at the hospital, and then I uh, got my personal car at the garage. Ten four. Hope the hospital stay wasn't too bad. <laughs> the nurses were nice and all that good stuff. Yeah. Okay. Ten four. <laughs> Oh, that's great. Alright, I'm gonna go down this dirt road because, well, there's no actual reason I just want to go down this dirt road. You know, why not? Um, something crazy happened last night. Um, it was one of my friend's birthdays, and we went out to town. I live in Newport in Wales, and um, we went to a club called Courtyard, and it was quite nice. We chilled there, and we left at like, I think about five. 20 past 5 in the morning literally 10 minutes after I left some guy was stuck in traffic like in a crowd of people outside the club and he got just so fed up with them he put his foot down mowed through the crowd put the car in reverse went back through them like he did that three times back and forth through this crowd running people over and then he reversed one last time and just absolutely floored it into a crowd of people. He hit, like, loads of people. Four of them had to be taken to hospital. That was crazy. I was I literally was at that club ten minutes beforehand. And there's a video of it on um, online. He just kept putting his foot down, going back and forth through this crowd of people. I've Like, honestly, it's the sort of thing where you think it happens, but it doesn't happen near you. And... I'd never seen anything like that. Well, I didn't see it, but the video was pretty intense. Two of the people he hit, two girls, had life-changing injuries. Because this dude just got so fed up of sitting there in traffic. It's crazy. It does make you wonder what type of people are out there. And the craziest thing, it happened at half five in the morning. The guy who did it was 18 years old. And I don't know if it was his car or what, he burned it out as soon as it ha like, literally did it in front of the police. There was police there on foot, and he drove off, and then he um, burned out his car. But it, it does make you wonder what type of people are out there. He was 18. Like, he's younger than me, and he's attempted murder. It's crazy. Right, I need to deposit some money. We've got quite a bit in our bank. Uh, if I put away... 30,000, then that'll give us a nice even 520,000. <laughs> the number took a while to change and I thought I'd lost the money. Oh, I'm put the gun away. But yeah, we are one step closer to buying that house I want to buy. I don't know which one I'm going to buy, but I'm going to buy a house. Oh, guy over there in a black dominator, I think. Oh, well, mustn't stalk. But yeah, we are not far off buying a house. I hope he didn't want to talk to me. No, that's alright then. That'd be a bit sucky if I just drove off while he was trying to chat to me. Um, I'm going to go back down Panorama. I think that would be a good idea. Um, yeah, I'm just going to chill on Panorama for a bit. Because Panorama is easily one off, if not the most used roads in the map. Because people use it as a sh shortcut to get from Sandy to the city, the two main areas. And it's easier than getting on the 13 and it's quicker than going through the country roads. So Panorama definitely gets his fair share of view. So I'm going to run a bit of radar down, not one of my favourite spots, but still a pretty good spot just down here on the right. And um, hopefully we can get a speeder pretty soon. I'm hoping. No, that's good. Someone hot miking. 
Uh, let's just pop the car there. I like to put the side camera and then put it so you wouldn't be able to see the roof of my car because of the bush. Like by the time you notice it, it's just too late. That's how I like to roll. Right, let us see if anything happens. Here comes our friend in his Dominator. Hopefully he's not going to do anything stupid. That is very close. And that is very dark window tint. Um, <laughs> I mean, he wasn't following closely. So I'm going to count that up to poor braking. Because it's not like he was going all the way down the road really close behind that dude. He was just like, he braked and got very close to him. Which we've all done, so... I'll let that slide, for probably because, well, just because he's probably setting up a scenario. So I feel it's better to just let it slide. My voice just died then. <laughs> then to pull him over, hassle him, and potentially ruin a scenario he's got setting up. So, as I said, I'll let that one slide. And the window tint, that's not really. I mean, it's an infraction, but is it really worth pulling him over for it? I don't think so. That's just my opinion, but, you know. Oh, look at that. There's a cute little snake in the bush. Aww. I want a pet snake. You see, when there's no RP, you make RP come to you. It's my genius plan. And as earlier we smoked, eh, smoked, spoke User to a snake handler. Your channel. And um, he is still working, so I'm going to get the snake handler to come out. What's his number? 78516. I think I should be able to manage that. Message. How do you create a message? Uh, ah, add to contacts. Name Scott, because I believe that's the one doing it. 78516. I think that was right. I hope that was right. 78516. Please tell me that was right. <laughs> I'm not very good at numbers. 7516. Yep, I think that's what I typed in. Right, we're going to give him something to do. Uh, do you know, I've never sent a message on this phone. I think you clicked that. Aha! Found a cute little snake at Sandy Shores airfield, ignore the train behind me, that's what that sound was. He's near the sign if you want to come pick it up. I will stay with it if I can. Um, always end with a formal little Thanks, uh, Nick. So he knows who it's from. And send. Perfect. So now we've created a nice little scenario for ourselves. And we will see if he replies and if he can come and pick it up for us. Because that little cute little snake there. I don't want it to go to waste. I don't want it to die out in the heat or hurt someone. It's only about three foot long. I think it's a python. I don't know. What snakes live in Florida? Pythons? Adders? No. I'm not sure about adders and anacondas. On my way. Uh, reply. A bit more difficult to use than a normal phone. No problem. I said that really weirdly then. I'll stay with it. Oop, didn't want to do that. Uh, just for safety reasons, I'm going to move my car a little bit. So... Oof. What did I hit? You're kidding. That, I didn't even hit that. I think the clip box on that's messed up because I've hit it before. And of course it starts raining. So, because that was not legit, I'm going to fix that. Plus it also cleans the car, and I'm going to wait for this snake handler. I probably shouldn't keep my lights on, otherwise people will think I'm in trouble and start bothering me. <laughs> Sorry, I mean helping me. 
And let's see if our friendly snake handler arrives. He's in a big green truck with a brain bottom, I think. You hey, man. I, I heard you were a uh, professional when it comes to reptiles. Yep, that's my job. I come pick them up. Awesome. I was uh, running He's radar by the sign and I saw something sliver into this bush here. It looked about three foot long. I believe it was a python, but I don't know. I'm not an expert. Ah, one of the baby. I don't know if that's uh, one of the kids of that big one I caught over in the ship. It could well be. It would explain the proximity. Alright, let me hop out and take a look. No worries. If you don't mind, I'm going to stand back here because I'm not very good with animals. <laughs> That's not true, I actually I quite no like problem. snakes. Never had one, but I like them. Yeah, it just slivered in by there, it did, in that big bush. Huh. Gotta love this rev weather. Rather? I really can't speak. I should go back to nursery or some shit. I believe it's Slash Crouch. Oh, I know. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what's bringing some of them out this rain. They're uh, going to drown if they stay in their hole. Oh, oh, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Is it true that snakes actually have that, like, fork shaped tongue? Crabs, little guy. <laughs> oh, i got to reply to that. Stands oh, that's just back okay. in. Do the big ones you can get. Uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. What was I going to do? Stands back in awe and fear. <laughs> Quite an odd colour scheme on that vehicle, gotta be said. Black, green, brown. A little guy like that don't even need the tongs and stuff. You can just get a hold of them. They're, yeah, I'll, they're harmless. They don't hurt them. I'll uh, leave that one up to you either way. <laughs> yeah, biggest problem is they're an invasive species here. I'm trying to get a handle on them. Yeah, I figured you'd be the best guy to call because um, I heard about you. You've got quite a good rep in the uh, town. You want to see its mama? I still got her in back. Oh. About 12 foot. Uh, not really, but... I mean, if you really wanted, you could put in my ex-wife's toilet. That would be good. <laughs> Maybe the baby uh, one under a pillow. That's what the rats are for. Oh, I'll have that's to use that one. <laughs> I mean, you know. <laughs> Thank you. 1099. All right, man. Well, glad to help. I'm gonna head on out here see if I can find something else. Okay, man. I have a. By the... Have a nice day, man. I will. Yeah, I gotta stop by the Yellow Jack for a minute while I'm out, so you take it easy. You too. Well, that was pretty pleasant. Now, where the fuck a doodle do is that Dominator? Because I want to pull that boy over. What? AI, what are you doing? Right. Uh, we got a call, apparently. Yellow bar. I'm guessing that means the Yellow Jack. 252, show me responding to that call at the Yellow Jack. I think I let go of the thing too early, but they'll get the message. Ugh, this dude again? Really? Um, Taser seems appropriate for this. If it's a bar fight, then I want to uh, stop it before anyone gets injured. Great parking job, mate. Great fucking parking job. This guy again. Alright, keep your hands where I can see them, Mr. Berg. What did I do wrong, officer? You don't have to put your hands up, just keep them out your pockets where I can see them. What's up with all the uh, unconscious people on the floor? Uh, probably oh. aliens. I don't know. I think. Oh wait, no. Uh, there was a guy. He got in, and then uh, 
Beat the shit out of that. You sure it wasn't you? I don't know. Whoa, shoo! <laughs> Just show me the back of your hands a sec. Inspect oh, right. hands for injuries. Alright, I'm just inspecting the back of your hand for any injuries consistent with punching someone or hitting them. Yeah. Uh. I said, yeah, I think, uh. Uh, I'm gonna go now. No. Uh, West. Where the fuck did the fuck North go? West is. Madness. Just stay there, Mr. Berg. Oh, shit. No. Please don't face me, man. I got a weak heart. Alright, put your hands up for me and face the other way. Do I have backup here? Face away from me. Oh, I got you covered, Nick. Ten for. Uh, Civ interaction. Cuff. And drag. I've done nothing wrong. Okay, at this moment in time, you're being detained on suspicion of assault. You have the right to remain silent. You don't have to say anything. Britain may harm your defence. You don't mention sure when questions which you later line in court. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided for you. Do you understand the rights as I've read them to you? Yes. Okay. Uh, one, two, four. Can you call a uh, 1070? Uh, 1071 correction for the um, unconscious locals over there. Yeah, well, sure. They fucking asked for it. They called me gay. Is that an admission? That sounded no, like. No, I think. That sounded oh! like an admission to me. <laughs> no, I was like different. I don't know. I can't remember. What do you remember? Uh, uh, then I'm outside now. Alright, do you have anything on you which can harm me, stick me, poke me, anything like that? Anything you shouldn't have? No, no, nothing. Nothing, officer. Okay. 1071's uh, dispatch. That'll be here in one, one minute. 10 for. Right, he's got nothing on him. Do you mind if I stick him in your car? Okay, sure, carry on. Um, were knuckles bruised from fighting? Yeah, I, I was trying to have a look at his hands, see if there was any bruising or anything on there to indicate a fight, and that's when he just decided to run off into a locked door. <laughs> Oh, what a jackass. That's <laughs> well. Well, that, yeah. Is that his vehicle over there? Yes, it is. He's been here uh, quite a nice. lot. I've seen him here, I believe, three times today, so maybe a drink problem. I don't, I don't well. have a drink problem. No, that's not true. If you say so, Mr. Berg. Right, I we'll think. Chat with this guy real quick. Yeah. Hey, excuse not... me, sir. What'd you say, Mr. Berg? I <laughs> said he's my friend. Okay. User joined your channel. So, are you going to admit it to me now or at the station? The sooner you admit it to me, the sooner, well, the better it'll go in your favour. That is very epilepsy right. inducing. I mean, that. they just look funny at me, and I kind of went and you know went from zero to one hundred and punched them in right in the face. Right, so that is an admission to guilt. That is caught on dash cam. So, at this moment in time, you are under arrest for assault and potentially GBH. 
the same rights as before apply to this this um, arrest. Do you have any questions for me? Wow. Not really. Okay. Let's see what these guys are talking about. Right, okay. Are you say you hit somebody? Yeah, I kicked somebody. Did he hit you first? Um, uh, no, just running his mouth, talking about my family. Alright, do me a favor, go ahead, turn around. First off. Mr. Berg's just oh, confessed yeah, and he yeah, told yeah. me that this dude in the shirt here is his friend. So it could be a possible oh, joint yeah. conspiracy. Yeah, so the, uh, from the sounds of it, hang on, hang on real quick, let me just put this guy yeah. on cuffs. <laughs> Our, um, probationer over there just enjoying himself. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? That's great. Ah, right, man, um, I'm gonna quickly search you real quick. Have you got anything coming? You're gonna poke me, stick me, or hurt me in any way? I'm gonna go confirm no. that he's his friend. Ah, oh, why are you picking right, my friend? Uh, he's done nothing wrong. He's just confessed to the same thing as you, so both of you are currently under arrest. Uh, no, okay. That okay, um, you're also going to be placed under arrest for uh, possession um, of illegal drugs, uh, in particular LSD uh, and cocaine. Damn. I've um, arrested. Oh, I've arrested his no, friend man. for assault and potential GBH. Suspicion of. Awesome. Yeah, so this guy admitted as well that he hit somebody first. They, So basically he's saying that they were talking shit to... The, the locals were talking shit to them and then they both swung a punch or kicked somebody in retaliation to the verbal abuse. Uh, but obviously that doesn't... Um, obviously that's, that's illegal. So but, this guy's getting done for assault as well as possession. Yeah, um, that tallies up with what I've been told by the other guy as well. So I think take them both in, charge both of them. Absolutely, yeah. Um, what's your name, sir? Because I'm going to need to know if you've got a weapons permit for this uh, pistol. <laughs> yeah, his name's Rick Johnson. What do you say? Something Johnson? Rick Johnson, was that? I'll have a look. Rick Johnson. Thanks, Rick. That's deputy pertinent to you. Pick. With an H, not an R. Hick. Hick. Okay, Hick. 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 Did yeah, I just sorry, see John Gosh, Wick then? Uh, uh, do you need water? Uh, do you need any water or anything? I need a bed and some... and some, a girl. You'll get the bed, but we can't do okay. anything about the girl. Um, he has a prior for racing a motor vehicle arrest. Uh, did you see if he had a weapons permit? Um, let me check. <laughs> the one thing I had to do. God damn it. Uh, no, he doesn't. Let me just double check on the NCIC. But, uh, what's his name? Hick? John Wick. <laughs> With H, that's fucking great. He does not. He also has no weapons registered to him. Okay. All right, so that's uh, you're also going to be charged with uh, possession of a firearm, um, and unfortunately, because you've got a previous felony, um, that doesn't bode very well. So at this time, you're going to be placed under arrest for uh, assault, and GBH, possession of illegal drugs, and uh, possession of an illegal firearm. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in court law. If you uh, if you and you have the right to an attorney, guy. and if you cannot afford one, the state will appoint one for you. You understand these rights as I've read them to you, Mr. Hick? Sorry, Mr. Johnson. Just so you know, your friend's wow. being arrested for um, the same as you, plus an illegal drugs okay. charge and an illegal weapons charge. Alright, hang tight here. I'm just oh, gonna shit. sort out transport in here. Yeah. So. Um, Nick. Oh, yep. Um, what do you want to do? Put put your subject in my car, or do you want me to put my subject in your car and we'll just transport them down the station? It'd probably out? just be easier if you put them in my car and then we can book whatever. Just send them to the awesome. station, then All sort right. it out. 
Can can y'all have somebody come take my car home, the black dominator over there? Ah, that's yours, is it? Oh, sorry. That's your dominator, is it? Yeah, yeah, it's mine. Oh, that's quite cool, because I've been wanting to talk to you for a while, because I put you speed in twice. I keep us updated on that. Um, we're currently out with two subjects. Well, if you would have allergic. pulled me over, I bet we wouldn't be in this predicament. Fortunately, it was only minor three over, so I wasn't going to bother pulling you over. But I'm still going to give you a verbal warning Get now for that. But it's fair to say you won't be yeah, driving for a while levels. anyway. Is that, um, is it all registered and stuff? Uh, I don't know. I didn't actually pull the Dominator over. The white car is Mr. Bergs, who's in the back of your car. And that is registered. I'm going to put... Uh, no, it'd be best if he put him in my car, because it can cause it to glitch sometimes. I'll just stay over here with these two. Hick Johnson. That is Was you the highway guy sitting over there on 68 across from the gas pumps? Uh, no, I'm not a highway. I'm a deputy. No, all the uniforms look the same. At least mm. right now they do. If you say so. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I've had about eight whiskeys. Um. Oh. All right. So uh, the good news is is that we can indeed look after your vehicle. The bad news is, unfortunately, you won't be able to get it back. So we've got notes on there that suggest that it's attached to a drug running operation. So your vehicle is going to be seized and impounded uh, for forensic uh, evidence uh, investigation. Okay. Yeah. How long does that typically take? <laughs> Will the car um, be out of jail before um, I am? To be honest, by the time probably you not. get out of jail, your car will probably just be some rust and wheels anyway, so I wouldn't bother too much about it. Same one, two, and six. Oh, goody, I get to be a drug runner and old. I was in my dream. One, seven, six, guys. Are you admitting you're a drug runner? I'm at the... Nope, didn't say nothing. ...location of the, of the 1015 here. Okay. Uh, no immediate threat at this time. Um, we'll be hey, this is going to make good content for my FUTU uh, video. I got my FOCRO running. Yeah, yeah, same here. It um, can be rewarding sometimes. I know, you might oh, be able to edit it in yeah. your cell. Uh, Mr. Johnson, you want to come and hop in the back and then we'll get you uh, processed. Just jump in the back yeah. of this cruiser. Yeah, it's probably a good idea to keep them separate. That black Thanks, car, I'm, if, I'm gonna come back, and if that's still like that, he's getting a parking ticket, I can tell you that much. Hey, how fast will this car go? I'm not even gonna answer that, because I don't know the answer to that. Phew, that was close. Oh, he no talking now. How fast does this thing go? You got yourself quite a few charges, haven't you? Yeah, something like that. I guess it's the price you pay to have fun. Yeah, um, freedom is pretty hefty price, I'd say. Especially a few years of it lost, you know. Yeah, it's all good. Like I said, I'll just get me another gun when I get out. That, you know, that that's that's minor change to me. <laughs> this window broke. Uh, if you do get another gun, you will be charged. You'll be arrested and charged. If you're caught with it, I'll just give you that. Oh. <laughs> I'm not afraid of being arrested. I got bodies on the inside. Yeah, I found that out today. I guess we'll see how, how uh, true that is. I guess so. Out taking care of a gator. That's what the gunshots were. Nice. Ten four, just check his uh, weapons permit, um, and then my advice would be to cite him on me out for, uh, for uh, just a mind. firearm in a residential area. Yeah, ten four. I use the uh, menu to prim in the car. So, do you want to take yours, and I'll take the one out of your car? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because it glitches otherwise. All right, then this way, Mr. Johnson. Just give us a second, Mr. Berg, we'll be dealing with you in a moment.
Yeah. I bet you will. I think he genuinely got a first degree felony, which means he could sentence his character to death or a very long time right, in jail. Um, so Let me see. Second degree misdemeanor. First degree felony, death or ten one years. Year ten thousand dollar. Okay, so in total, your bail is going to be posted at uh, $210,000. Um, <laughs> otherwise, uh, if you wish to elect prison, um, that's going to be uh, 5, 10, 60, 5, 10, 60, 5, 10. So your second degree is 10 years. Hey, drinking buddy. Yeah, man. Okay, so you got. Okay, so you got. So it's ten thousand dollars. Says you don't bolt out the door right now. I bet you couldn't if you tried. Oh, what? <laughs> you can't move. Okay, so yeah, so your bail's posted at uh, two hundred and ten thousand dollars. Either or it's a twenty-one year uh, jail time. <laughs> so that's crazy. You know, turn a blind eye so I can go rob a bank. No. <laughs> yeah, totally, because that's, that's exactly what the police do. <laughs> that's just the only way I'm getting 200 and something thousand. <laughs> Alright, then. Okay, come stand over here, please, and I'll book you in. Alright, my turn to pick up Mr. Berg. Just on the side here, can you uh, roll here. your thumb? Roll your thumb in the ink pad and uh, press down on the fingerprints. Let's let go of him there. I don't know why he keeps falling through the counter. That's making me giggle. Awesome. Okay, stand against the uh, stand against the doors here. And uh, I'm talking see to you child. on the other side. <laughs> and Always, man. And see you soon. And he's about to go pop to jail. Yep, there it goes. Um, right, Mr. Michael Berg, you are under arrest and you will be charged with Section 877.03, Disorderly Conduct, that's a $10,000 fine, plus one year in jail. You'll also be charged with Section 784.045, Aggravated Battery, that's a $100,000 fine, plus ten years in jail. And your final charge will be eight, Section 870.01, that is being involved in a fray or a riot and that is twenty thousand dollars plus two years in jail so in total you're getting hundred and thirty thousand dollars in fines and you will be in jail for thirteen years you all out of your goddamn mind so many years for what? for as i just read to you disorderly conduct aggravated battery yeah, no Man, he said I was gay, so I punched him. That was my right. I thought this was a free country. Just because it's a free country does not mean you can go around hitting people. Do you understand the charges as I've read them to you and your rights? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Well, I guess it's going to be uh, the booty house now, huh? Pretty much. Right. Create that arrest report. And this is where the fun happens. Hey Nick, I'm gonna this um this uh, probationary gonna have him um post up with you, is that alright? Uh yeah, that's fine man. Awesome, alright, I gotta get out of here because I gotta do uh, uh a lapse class. Ten four. Have fun. <laughs> yeah, that sounds like fun. Alright man. Jail shit, I don't know what it's not. Bye nice guys. Ripperino is 35, so... No promises. Slash jail... Uh, 1... Charles, one, two, four, 35... Uh, 10, 7, 10, for 42. 780 seconds, I believe that's correct. Let's see. Yes! Oh, 600 seconds. Okay, I'm fine with that. Right, um... Three, what was your number? 355, five. do you want to uh, come with me? 252, two. show me 10 7, 10 42 for the night. Have a good night, guys. Sound muted. Awesome. 
Okay guys, that was quite an interesting shift. I'm uh, not taking the ride long now. 162 was really determined to do it, so I'm going to let him have that. And I am going to go 10-7. I've got a lot of editing to do, and I've got very little time to do that editing. Uh, today's been cool. We had an arrest. Um, we had some drunk people. We had a snake. Um, pretty sure something else happened, but my memory is terrible. But yeah, today's been a pretty cool shift, so thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you come back for the next episode, and I will see you then. Peace out, guys.